Hello people and how's all doing today? Today I am, I'm talking about something which I've been talking about for a very long time. And it's about the Fed, the Irish Defence Forces. And my heart and my soul really does go out to this woman and a uh, oh, soldier. I don't know who he is but my heart and soul does, does go out to these people because he does great service to his country. And the state doesn't repay him for his service. Like, I just let you listen. This was on OT1 news at six o'clock so just to say so it's on it's on facebook and it's on the ot archive so we'll just have a look at it it's so two minutes long so and married to a soldier aj carroll says the family simply cannot live on her husband's take-home pay of 400 euro a week the child care but also the rent food just the normal things we're just trying to get it to stretch from the wednesday to the wednesday or even i get paid on thursday so says those soldiers, sailors and Air Corps personnel that don't get paid sufficient allowances are earning less than the minimum wage. Those that work additional hours are not properly paid for them and those that can afford to are now buying themselves out. We have a crisis in defence at the moment. In 2013 we lost over 500 staff. In 2017 that increased over 700 and in 2018 we actually lost 826 personnel. We're on, we're on schedule to actually lose the same amount this year. This year we've actually had over 118 personnel purchase their discharge, plus a further 55 recruits. The association has also strongly criticised the government for failing in spite of a recent court settlement to implement the Working Time Directive. The Minister for State with Responsibility for Defence says he has now invited the association to discuss recommendations in an independent report in relation to allowances for groups within the Defence Forces. Such additional payments won't apply AJ Carroll's husband. He's expected to protect everybody else and serve the country, but yet his own country won't help him with his family or put a roof over his head. And how do they expect him to concentrate on his job when he's worrying about his kids and you know where we're going to get money for the bills or uniforms or anything? The family packed up all their belongings after they were recently told they had to move out of their shared rent at home. They say they can't afford to rent by themselves and have now moved back in with his parents. Paul Reynolds, Sporty News, Castlebar. So that can that says a lot, uh, just just that alone. So what I'm kinda of gonna to say to you now is if you're into the Fed's forces, uh, I have a lot of respect for you, but if you have the money I, I will fire you to buy yourselves out. I know it's a lot of money, it's 40,000 or something. But if you have the money or if you can get the money to buy yourself out, it would just buy yourself out. Because I don't think he's going to get proper pay and I don't think he's going to get proper conditions. So um, I would just buy yourself out to be honest because I get a new job, get even work in Tesco, you get a bit more money than this because this is just beyond a disgusting disgrace. And then not to the not to. I don't mean that the men, the, the men are very hard, hard working men. They go out to other countries and peacekeep and do their very best for the country. But as that woman said, the country doesn't show them respect. And I would say to everybody, if you have the money, I know there's loads of men who, loads of boys who had dreams and now in the defense forces now have been in the army and they had dreams when they were young to be in the army. Now they're in the army and they take it and they feel like it's hell. But the only thing I say to you is if you have the money, I would advise you just to go. And it's simple as that because 400 euros a week. It's not water. The amount of training you do, the amount of effort you put into your life, the amount of motivation, the amount of dedication to your country is unbelievable. And your country takes you very much, but you know, it's just not watered. And I really don't want the Vets Forces walk or coming homeless or God knows there's too many people homeless already but I haven't one of our soldiers on the street, like, other people could say they have to put up with it, but really they don't, because 400 euros, we, I wouldn't like it if I was getting 400 euros, and say walking five days a week and never really get any holidays or anything, like, 
it's not really fair. It's not fair at all. So the only thing I could say to people, if you have the money, I'm not saying they they go break break the bank, but the only thing I say, if you can get the money, just to leave the defense forces, go and walk in Tesco. Believe me, you probably get a tiny bit more. And anyway, take a watch and subscribe more, and make sure you do support your defense force. If you know anybody in the defense force, so in the Air Corps and the Navy Corps, go and support them. Say that you're doing a great job to the country. Give them a tiny bit of motivation. Because they're probably heartbroken now just to hear that it's not really going to change. It's not going to change. This has been going on for donkey's years. and Well, back years ago, it was ridiculous amount of money they were getting. Now they don't give a fuck because President Higgins opened the door. Opened the hours does not give a fuck. And it's his, his fault. He's the head of the army. He should be saying, my men and my women are out there putting their lives in their line for this country. And I want their equal pay. I want their pay to be restored. But Michael D. Higgins just sits there and does not care less. As he's the head of the army. Like if I was the head of the army, the one thing I'd be doing is I'd be making sure my army are up to standard. No, because I'd be... If I was president, I'd be a, I'd be a very military man, to be honest. I'd probably go around in a military uniform. That'd be how much I would be. I know I wouldn't be detector, a dictator, but I'd be very into the... If I was head of the military, I'd be always suspected them and always saying to them, I wouldn't be... An ignorant cut of a person, you know what I'm saying? But I would just see how they're getting on and on, and how's the lieutenants doing, how's this going, how's training going, and this, that, you know. But thank you for watching, subscribe, and bye.